Hi there, I'm Oliver from Lentus.com and well in the last tutorial we took a look at the modeling tools into the edit mode from Blender and in this one I'm going to show you how to actually use uh, that tools for modeling a few objects. I will be modeling a cup, a chair and a fried egg. Okay, so let's start with the cup. So let's start with a cylinder Okay, from the top view, shift A, mesh, cylinder. Alright, let's go here and put it to just half eight vertices. Okay, radius. Right, I prefer to change the, the depth of the cylinder by scaling it on the C axis, but uh, maybe it's better from the edit mode. Alright. So this way, in the in the object mode, we have here the scaling on one, and not the strange numbers. Okay. So from here, I'm going to create. Well, I'm going to show you a, a quick tip of how to select this kind of uh, polygons. Okay. You can select the center vertex, press Ctrl and Plus into the numpad, and you already have all the faces from the top part. Okay, face extrude, right click, scale it down to here. Okay, let's give it a bit up. Control R, and here I'm going to uh, cut it twice. Right. I'm going to do right now the same here. Okay, face extrude. Right, but here I'm going to just make one subdivision. All right. I have selected this loop with Alt right click. Put it down. This down. And now, just delete this vertex here, go to the edge mode, select this loop, and extrude it on the C axis, like here. All right. Now, scale it to something like this. Control R, divide it three times for example and now we are starting to give some shape to this cup right so something like this control R again and now uh, we're going to be adding each time more divisions to give some shape Another division here. Now, just to give some more detail here. All right. So, more or less, here we have our cap. But, well, this is quite crappy yet. All right. Let's smooth it out by clicking here. Okay, so the polygons are smooth. And let's add a subsurf modifier subdivision surface and put it to two subdivisions right so now this is uh, <laughs> another thing okay now let's create here something like this to give uh, sharper edges on the border Select this. Put 
Let's activate this option here to actually see the edges on the subsurf modifier effect. And now finally, we can take this, extrude it, right click, scale it down to the center. And now for a minute I'm going to disable the subsurf modifier. Go to the front view with one on the numpad, C set to uh, see the, the wireframe and now I'm going to shoot it okay, to here to here just to make the inner part of the cap like this okay just with some little thickness Okay, reset again to change from the wireframe to the solid mode or you can go here and select wireframe or solid if you don't want to remember the shortcut. Shoot again and Alt M collapse. Okay, so we have here this closed. Right now activate again the subserve. Go to the object mode, smooth again for this part that it was flat. Right, and we almost have our cap. Just give this a bit down, take this up, and now select everything from the front view. Just go. Here. Okay. Here on the top, I'm going to make a bit sharper edges like this. Let's try something. Okay. Well, and here you have the cap. Now you uh, you can with the proportional editing tool enable and you can change the shapes for example let's select all this with B the box selection right you can scale this with the wheel with the mouse wheel you can um, increase or decrease the proportional editing effect okay so you can see how easy it is to change the cap shape all right oh, something like this for example and here we go or just you can go again to this view V shift set to increase this size well I have this selected just a select this again okay M with s for for scaling and shift set it will just be uh, scaled on the x and y axis right decrease this effect This. You can see how easy it is to change this kind of things. This is a stream, but something like this, for example. Alright, so here we have our cap. Okay, so let's create a new scene. Okay, let's call this cap scene. And let's create now a new sim empty and it will be chair sim. Right, so let's start with the chair. I want to make the seat and the back for the chair. Okay, let's start with a plane. 
take this edge in the C-axis like this move it okay and now just as the, as the cap we have the basic shape and now we start to subdividing it and giving some details to it right Something like this down, skipping a bit, I turn this up here, it's working full screen for now, this, with the shape the sample turn this up now just for for you to see the workflow I'm going to delete this part it's vertices <clears throat> and I'm going to add a mirror modifier okay so we have already the other side so if if I modify this one the other side will be reflecting the changes okay let's activate clipping you can take a look at the tutorial of the modifiers to see how this works Let's turn this bit back. This two. All right, and delete this one. Not actually. <laughs> create another division here turn it up and this okay smooth it and let's give it a solidify modifier Right, this will give uh, thickness to the object. Okay, something like this. The offset in one, and now let's apply a subsurface modifier. Two. And here we go. Just smoothing the the back of the chair a bit. Something extraordinary here. <laughs> Activate with O the proportional editing so I can move this back and now just let's go to the side view and modify this shape a bit okay something like this this and 
turn this a bit back. All right. Put this up. And now let's see how to make the legs and the arms of the chair. Okay, I'm going to the top view. Let's create a cube. Right? And this cube, just enter the edit mode, scale it way down, and move it to something like here, for example. Okay. Now, just select the top face of that cube and shoot it up. Something like this. Press O to deactivate the proportional editing. Let's go to this uh, to the side view. Rotate this face a bit. Shoot it again. Rotate it again. Move it down here. Rotate it. Rotate it again. And here we go. Just divide it here a few times, something like this, and more or less we have <coughs> one leg. Let's activate the mirror modifier so we can see the other side at the same time. Note that I uh, have done this a bit uh, thick, but I'm going to add a subdivision so it will be uh, more circular. Uh, okay, add a subdivision so it's now uh, more small. Select everything, press Alt S, and now we can increase or decrease the thickness. Okay, something like this should be cool. Right. Here you can see that it works. Let's put the, this just touching the the seat. Okay, this is rotate it a bit and put it here. All right. make a subdivision here so this is more linear because here we are going to put the arms on okay now just one more thing uh, smooth this let's go here and let's refine this area okay let's subdivide this and well, let's do the same on the back part, back leg. Select this, select this, and from the side view, activate the proportional editing and turn it up. Don't worry because uh, later I'm going to add here some pieces of, of rubber, so it will be okay. All right. Now, from the edit mode, I will be adding an object, and if you create an object uh, while in the edit mode of another object, uh, the new object will be added to the to the original one. Okay. So here, if I add a cube it will be into the original object. Let's disable the proportional editing. Scale this way down. It's in here. And start from here. Let's take this. Activate clipping. So this 
uh, welds in the center point of the mirror and now give two subdivisions for example and another one here to give a sharper edge here alright now what I have to do is press L to select a group okay with L or shift L you select groups okay or deselect them so select this group Alt S and scale it a bit down like this now with this selected put it up like this shift D to duplicate press Y here scale it on the x-axis and now just give a bit of shape to this ok let's select these vertices sorry it's here, turn it up here, turn it up and <coughs> select this face, activate the proportional editing and just the proportional editing with the connected activated this way it won't take the legs uh, vertices because they are not connected to these uh, groups. Let's scale this a bit down. Okay, it looks good. Let's go with this. Turn it up. it down and now this one's here deactivate the proportional editing and here we go okay smooth and here we have well what I need to do here is to delete this face okay you can see now it has a smoother transition from one side to the other like here this uh, normal issue okay is because uh, two faces are converging in that area okay so deleting this face will solve that problem. Alright. Now let's go to the to the arms. Let's create Shift A plane and add modifier mirror. Now let's let this scale it down scale it down rotate it on the x-axis go to the edit mode and now from the side view extrude this Control R make some subdivisions here gives a, a bit of shape to this arm so it's more interesting okay something like this 
down, this up, this down. And now, just as for the seat in the back, just add solidify modifier, okay, the offset in one, so it grows up in the upper part. Like this. You can smooth it and apply a subsurf. Is a division surface twice and well here you have the arms of our chair you should take care of this strange <laughs> shapes here but well this is the for the tutorial is for uh, that you see how to use these tools and you have an idea of uh, well how to use them for actually modeling themes okay the the workflow of the modeling process okay so something like this you can select everything see increase the proportional editing and here go up with this thing deactivate the proportional editing go here and with this go up add another subdivision here and well that's it here we have our chair of course you can uh, change the shapes and everything this is a bit crappy, but uh, I think you get the idea, all right? Okay, I've forgotten to uh, make the rubber pieces, the little rubber pieces on the bottom part of the legs. So I'm going to create them now. Let's go to the wireframe. Let's create a cylinder this time. Put six vertices here, for example, lining up with the axis. And now let's, from the, with the edit mode, move it to this point, which is the, the leg, bottom part of the leg. Okay, so scale it down, go to the front view, lining up with the floor. Now let's create a few subdivisions. Well, this you can, you have seen, is a bug. Okay, uh, it happens to me when I uh, use the loop cat tool uh, on the um, on the wireframe mode. Okay, but nothing, nothing else. Okay, I can select this, and now I can scale it down a bit, lining up, and I'm going to apply. A subsurf modifier so we can see exactly the effect we are achieving with this okay this is more or less what I want All right now let's select this and shift D Y to uh, snap it to the Y axis and put it there with corresponding with the leg and now we can select this and this to move it back right more or less it's working press L to select this group of, of polygons there we go and now let me take a look maybe we need to this a bit forward and that's it and here we go ok 
okay having this selected let's press smooth and as the origin is here on the center point I'm going to apply a mirror modifier happening here <laughs> I don't know why it's doing this okay so I think it's because we have not uh, the location rotation or scaling uh, applied to this object so it's taking the local rotation of the of the object uh, yeah yeah because when I created the cylinder from here, I'm going to repeat the operation so you can see what happens. I created this cylinder, put it uh, six vertices, but I rotated it for lining up with the axis. So now uh, the mirror modifier is taking this rotation in account. Okay, so the next time you can do this rotation uh, on the edit mode. Okay or just what I'm going to do now which is select the object press ctrl A apply rotation okay and this way uh, the, the local axis of the object are aligned with the world ones so now if we apply the mirror modifier it works okay so here we have it let me see because this verse here, verse here is a bit uh, crappy. <laughs> Let's put it a bit like this. Alright. Well, I don't like it at all, but you get the point. Okay? You can model now your own very cool chair. <laughs> okay. Now let's go with the fried egg. Uh, okay, uh, an user from from the from the web uh, has told me that uh, well he would like to see a tutorial about food modeling because there are nothing at all uh, about that theme on the internet. So well, I was thinking about what to model, and I decided to model something really simple because uh, uh, food is organic. And for that organic uh, forms and shapes, we will be going to use the sculpting. But uh, until now, I'm not explaining. I have not explained the sculpting tools yet. So I decided to create something uh, pretty easy to model, so we can model it with these tools. And then when I explain the sculpting, I'll do some uh, more organic food. All right. So let's go with the fried egg. Let's create a new scene empty and let's call it fried egg okay so uh, for this I'm going to start with a sphere here I have it let's put here for example 8 8 all right let's go into the edit mode wireframe for box selection and delete the down part of it. Okay, now let's turn this a bit up, scale it down this way. I'll click for selecting all this loop and make it more uniform with that shape. Right, select everything again here and now from the top view just extrude it and scale it to something like this okay now let's create a few subdivisions here so we can give it a shape like this Extrude it again, snap to the C axis, and extrude to here, extrude again, 
Alt M collapse, Control R, and create a few subdivisions here. Right, so more or less we have our basic mesh for the for the egg. Maybe we need to scale this up. Okay, let's uh, activate the uh, proportional editing with the connected mode, so it don't scale the the down part of the of the egg. And let's scale this up a bit, like this. Okay, smooth it, and let's add a subdivision surface twice, maybe three times. Okay, now with Control R, let's add here another uh, edge, another loop. So we have the activate the proportional editing, a sharper edge right there. Okay, and now from this, we can go to the top view and actually start forming it okay for making it more organic and natural because uh, I haven't seen in, in all my life any egg like this okay so let's activate again the proportional editing with uh, enable not connected and let's move this to deform it a bit okay even the center part of the egg activate this here so we can see the actual model maybe here we can uh, in some part make a subdivision so we can uh, make some little detail like this right over here for example to make this go in forward right so here more or less we have our fried egg okay now I'm going uh, to model uh, a little <laughs> I don't know how to call it, <laughs> I'm not used to speaking English, but uh, I'm going to model it and I'm going to put it on time lapse so you can see how to do it. Alright? So, let's go. Alright, so here it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it. So now you can uh, model your own objects. Uh, you can send your objects to 
to my email or just uh, put links on the on the comments below and well I'd be enjoying to, sh to see your creations <laughs> right now well uh, in next tutorials we'll see how to apply materials to these objects and how to uh, render them so stay tuned and well see you happy blending Thank you.